Hey everyone, my name is Peyton Barnet, and in this tutorial what I wanted to go over is something that I do pretty often. Uh, it's a very uh, simple thing that I actually do inside of Unreal, uh, but I think it's pretty helpful just with um, transitioning from like block out to uh, your actual environment and modeling it and everything. Uh, so in this scene here, I sometimes will kind of block out little uh, models and stuff just using some of the cubes actually inside of Unreal with the like the shapes and all. Um, and this is really cool because I can get a, a sense of scale, kind of understand where it's going to uh, go in the space as well as uh, yeah, see how it's going to work before actually having to model something out and all. Um, but with this, instead of just trying to jump into Maya or whatever like modeling software you use and kind of replicating what you have, uh, I think like what I tend to use and it helps me a lot is actually uh, merging all of these little cubes and of course exporting it out. Uh, so I just wanted to yeah, really quickly click all of these. And then once you have your cubes selected, which you can see here, uh, you can right click and you can either just group them if you wanted to, um, but you can also convert actors to a static mesh. Uh, so for this instance, I'm going to just save in the content browser. And if I just save here, then I can even name it like chair01. Save there and now we can see it down here and I could bring it out and it's my exact mesh. But this is nice because, of course, now you can go down here and actually go to Asset Actions um, and then export it out as an OBJ or whatever you wanted to kind of name it. And um, let's say that I just throw it into one of these projects. So Industrial Design. And then I'm going to bring it over here and do Jira 01. And now I jumped over to my actual Maya scene. I can go over here and actually import what we just exported out. So I'm going to go down to tier one and import here. And now you can see, let me just throw on like a light or so. Um, now I have my chair in here. Of course, it comes in triangulated out of Unreal, uh, but it's at scale in proportion to all of my other models and stuff. Um, and I can just go ahead and actually kind of reference this in here as my, my asset and uh, start modeling that way. And then if I wanted to, uh, I of course could also uh, export this back out and then just re-import it over uh, this uh, location here and kind of update this, this chair that I had. So uh, yeah, that's about it and I'll see you next time.